At Berg's Disc Sports, we prioritize comfort, durability, functionality, value, and style. And you know we always have your back. Hey guys, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. I've got a really fun prototype disc here to share with you guys today. I've got the Ocean Discs Sea Turtle. This is a 55 minus 11 supposed to be straight flying mid-range from Ocean Discs. Now I'll also be putting with the Anthony Bodanza UV Glow Marvel. That's not from Ocean Discs, but I got one, so I figured today's a good day to give it a try. First throw, Reedy Creek, hole one. Let's see how straight these things are. I just got the kick of a lifetime. Let's put it up in the air. I actually think they're a little bit more stable than I thought they would be. <sighs> Definitely not quite as turny as I expected. We'll give this Marvel a throw as well. I was actually put practice putting with this and it feels really good. <laughs> Ooh, those marbles are nice. And I did not plan this out like this. I actually think this UV Glow Marvel and this um, Ocean Disc Sea Turtle, the plastic, literally feels the exact same. They have this nice, supple sort of velvetiness to the plastic. They're extremely stiff around the rim, which I'm a big fan of. I'm curious how these kind of beat up and have a little bit of wear and tear over the round. So if we're able to hit a few trees today, I'm curious to see because it's, like, it's definitely not like a DX baseline. It's definitely more of like a premium baseline. But it was kind of funny. I just had them both in my hand and for a second I couldn't decipher which was which because these two blends for some reason feel the exact same. But we won't throw the marble off the tee anymore. Let's focus on the sea turtles. Need a nice stable flight here. It's going to get us an inside the circle putt. At the birdie, let's see if we can recreate that twice or it's luck. That's two absolute beauties. That is a very nice and consistent, like straight, but still with a nice fade at the end. It flies very similar to something like an MD3. One sea turtle was inside the circle over there, a little bit further out than this one. I figure we'll take the closer one. Based on the side profile of these, I thought they were going to be a little bit more understable than what they are. Um, definitely not getting like natural turn. If I put it on a little bit of Anheuser, it's going to hold it. But these are really nice, like point and shoot workhorse style mid ranges. All right. Definitely need a little bit of Anheuser throwing down the hill here. Yeah, that's going to want to flex out and go right into the basket. Oh. That was really close to an ace. Let's try and recreate that one more time. Wow. These are really, really nice flyers. Super impressed so far. And I've been bagging the Meteor for a long time now. And when I picked up the Sea Turtle originally, I thought, man, this feels quite similar to my Meteor. And obviously there are a few subtle differences here. The Meteor flies substantially more understable than the Sea Turtle. I'm really curious to see how stable slash overstable this would be in a champion type, even more premium blend. Because so far, the straightness and stability of this is very impressive. All right, we got Nathan here. He's passing me by here. Not really good. No, that was a nice rip. What do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, okay. yeah, thanks for being a good sport. And you could tell when he threw it, you could really see at a slower arm speed how stable it really is almost right out of the hand. So even if you throw hard, these are going to hold up. They're nice and stable. One thing that I can already tell, um, probably because I do think these are more of a baseline blend, we already have some good chippage going on here. On that last hole, I came down and hit a log, and that was the end result of that. All right, throwing pretty well today, able to pick up a nice park job birdie here on hole four. 
My only concern so far is the durability, but these feel in the hand really, really nice. The plastic is a really good blend, and I would really enjoy this particular blend in a putting putter. Just like I said with the new Prodigy Fractal line, I love that stiffness mixed with that suppleness. And you don't see a ton of companies that can really nail that blend perfectly. The Prodigy Fractal stuff is really, really good. And then this is kind of right up there as well. And actually this um, UV Glow Bodanza Marvels also kind of has those traits as well. And that happened quick. We're already on hole five here. My favorite hole on the course. I want this ace more than any other ace in all of Charlotte. I've thrown at least a thousand discs of this and have not aced it yet. So maybe today's the day. If she was just a little bit straighter, that would have had a chance. Basically parked for another birdie. I wouldn't say these have a full minus one turn. They're almost like a five, five, zero, one. Just like a dead straight shooter with a really nice fade at the end. <laughs> really forcing the nose down on that one. You can see, oh, I've never seen that before. The way that just hopped up and over, that's touching the pole. Absolute beauties, man. Not one, but two park jobs. I was hoping to putt with the Marvel a bit today. But we're putting them way too close to even have to putt. Hole six, great hole for the sea turtle. We basically just need to jam this thing almost as hard as we can flat. It's about 300 feet, mostly straight, and then we want a tiny fade. This is, if I can execute, it's the perfect hole for this disc. I mean, that's the one. If it beats it, I don't know if that's parked. I think it's parked. That felt like a pretty good line. I'm definitely at least not getting a minus one turn out of these. It's not a bad thing, but it's definitely noteworthy. So even like really hard and really nose down, I consider natural turn to be a disc that once it's in the air and it's flying, it wants to change angle a little bit in the air and find the turn. That's like a minus one or a minus two turn is going to be a disc that does that a little bit. I'm finding that these are just staying on the line that I put it on through 80% of the flight and then fading at the end. I would definitely say this is more of a zero or of a 0.5 turn, but definitely not a full one turn. Maybe if I continue to beat it in, it'll get there. But at the moment, not really getting much turn out of these. And my suspicions were correct. This is a really, really nice pro level mid range. I really thought these were going to be a little more understable, a little more of like a beginner disc, that little bit more of like a Mako or a Mako 3, just wanting to pop up and go straight and then fade a little bit. There's not really much pop up going on here. This is just like that pro level point and shoot mid range. And I feel like that's one of those slots that basically everybody should have in the bag. Flight numbers slightly misleading, but the performance seems to be top tier so far. The first seven holes at Reedy Creek are pretty much, in my opinion, backhand holes. The last two holes here are going to be forehand holes. So curious to see if they want to flip up on the forehand or if they're still nice and stable, even on a forehand throw. This is the one thing I was worried about with this blend. And if you look, the sunlight is perfect for this. We got a nice big fat dent right here from where we hit the tree. We push it up. It doesn't really want to stay up. So the durability is going to be the biggest thing that's going to hold this mid-range back, I think. Because after just one round, I'm seeing some pretty solid wear and tear. And I would love to see this in a more premium blend. <laughs> after those absolutely devastating durability tests. Let's see if these things are still stable. We need to put them up in the air on a forehand, see if they flex over to the right. Yeah, it's stable enough to go straight, but it's not stable enough to flex. That was the warped one. Let's see if the stable one's a little better. Okay, yeah, the warped one really wanted to hold that turn for a lot longer. I do think the embossing on the bottom is definitely worth noting. This is the first disc I've ever seen that says, if lost, please return to owner, and then a spot to put your phone number, which I do think is really cool, KDJ approved. 
sea turtle by ocean discs and then a nice little spot for the weight kind of similar to how gateway does it anyway i think i did a good enough job explaining it kind of as i was going i do think the matte black stamps are also very clean so i hope that's something they continue to move forward with but look at this we've got the matching disc with the matching bag i wonder if they did that on purpose ocean discs let me know in the comment section down below if you guys did that on purpose i'll see you guys in the next video and take care